Number 12 is solving a, another, it's a polynomial inequality, which is already factored and set equal to zero or less than or equal to zero. The whole point is seeing how you can work with the multiplicities and the degree of this polynomial. So this first term is gonna give me an X squared. So I'm gonna look at this leading coefficient. This next one's gonna be times X. This next one's gonna be times four to the fourth, X to the fourth. Now I can calculate four to the fourth. That's four squared times four squared, which is 16 times 16. And, and whatever 16 times 16 is, I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say, I think it's 256. But really all I need to know is that it's positive. And it's going to be x squared, x to the third, x to the seventh, so x to the seventh. The reason I want to know this is because anytime you have an odd function, it has opposite end behavior, and it starts low and finishes high if it's a positive. So I know it's going to start low, finish high, and it's got these zeros. So I'm going to organize my number line here. Um, I've got a negative 5 out here, and uh, we also have a positive 3 fourths. And then I also need a positive four. Those are the zeros. Now I'm gonna use the idea of this end behavior being opposite and also the multiplicity rule. So I know because this is squared, it'll be a parabola shape here because this is to a first power, it's simply a linear across the X axis. And since this is a fourth degree, it's gonna be a wider U shape. So here comes my graph. At a negative five, it's equal to zero. At three fourths, it's equal to zero. And at four, it equals to zero. But as we approach five from negative infinity, we come up to the negative five. We are tangent to, we don't cross, come down. And now we start reaching towards our uh, next zero, which is at three fourths. This one is a fourth degree, so it's flatter here. I'm just gonna exaggerate, it's flatter. Still tangent, but never crosses or goes up to the negative. And finally, at four, it is just a multiplicity of one, so now it'll cross. So there's the graph of this polynomial, just a very rough sketch of it. And I need to know where is it less than or equal to zero. Well, if I look at this interval, it's less than or equal to zero all the way through here. It's less than, less than, less than, equal to, less than, less than, less than, less than, equal to, still less than, less than. So basically, it's always less than zero for anywhere from a negative infinity all the way to four and including four. So throughout that entire graph, since it was less than or equal to, it's anywhere where it's below or on the x-axis. So that one cleans up pretty quickly if you use your, your ideas of multiplicity, your 7th degree polynomial being odd in behavior, um, and knowing it goes from low to high.